Alright, hey guys, Simon here, and let's just start with the most important thing. That is the module there. So we have piston, piston, a block with a pressure plate, redstone torch there and there, blocks in those places, don't forget the fences, and then don't forget redstone dust and one more block above it. That is the module. And you put the module together just like that, just stack them up one on top of the other. Right, so I started with that because, you know, just in case people want to just copy this thing later on, they don't have to go through all of the other stuff that I'm going to talk about. So, now for the real thing, the real story. Now, redstone escalators are not new. Right, a lot of people have made redstone escalators before. But for my design, I decided that I needed to, it to be as compact as possible. So you can see it's only three blocks wide. I wanted it to use as little redstone as possible. As you can see, we need five bits of redstone per module. Two in the pistons, two in the torches, and then one more up here. And then I also wanted it to be as simple to use as possible. And Actually, I haven't demonstrated it yet, have I? So basically, just like that. No buttons, no switches. You just walk onto the pressure plate and it activates, just like that. And the mechanism is pretty simple, right? So that directly activates that piston there, and then these bring the power up to the top one to activate that two ticks later, so the torches take one tick each to activate. So it activates that, and then very soon afterwards it activates that. And then when you step on it, it basically pushes you up. You can mirror the design to have it go the other way. Of course. And so, yeah, it's quite simple. The fence is there only to stop you from walking off. But imagine if the, if the thing wasn't there, you can just kind of walk in and fall off it. So that that's why the fences are there. To make sure that, you know, you're standing in the right place. And as usual I designed this thing like by myself without looking at other people's designs first. And then after I designed it I have a look or I had a look and um it's it seemed like a lot of the designs ended up using like really complex circuitry, like this, I saw a lot of redstone repeaters very few of them were truly modular, like this is and by modular I mean you just stack them up one after the other and they'll work and you know, a lot of them had really complex repeaters and redstone circuits behind it to make sure that all the timings are right and most of them you need to press a button and all that, so I wanted to avoid all of that and just keep things as simple as possible and as minimalist as possible, and obviously to use as little redstone as possible because I don't really have much redstone left. Um, I don't really have much to say apart from that, like that's the design and for those of you that follow my Minecraft adventures will know that I'm using this for the skyscraper, that. So I've built one section of it and if you want to see it in action over longer distances it basically does the exact same thing, just more and because of the modular design you can conceivably just continue it up and down as long as you like and it'll operate in the same way so after this the, uh, the idea is to have the next one going back the other way, up this way because obviously the building stops there so I wanted to zigzag up the building uh, servicing each floor. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. For this video, I think that's a bit short. Doesn't really matter, we can keep it short if we want to. And uh, going down, I think I'm just going to use that. The vines will break the floor quite efficiently. Hmm, do I have anything else to say about this? Not really. It is very compact, as you can see. And I also quite like the pattern it makes 
here as well. You know, it looks kind of good. Like everything looks good. You know, there's no messy circuits. There's no. There's nothing sticking out. Everything's just smooth and straight. I like it. All right, I think I'll end this video here and keep it simple. Um, let's just go. I mean, if you can figure out how to make this even more compact, use even less redstone, I'd be interested to hear about it, but I don't actually think it's possible. Just because even reaching from here to there, one, two, three, like how can you possibly use less redstone than this? You, you, like each bit of redstone only covers one block of space, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, there's seven spaces in between the switch and the top red, the top piston. And I only managed to get past that because of using the the torches to basically jump two spaces. I have the power jump two spaces each, and then the top bit of redstone activates this block instead of the piston directly. Yeah, I can't imagine how you can make it any more efficient than this. Alright, that's it. In the video, stop rambling. Uh, see you guys. Hmm, what should I do next? I guess I'll keep working on the skyscraper next. Yep, I'll see you there. Probably with the the pistons all in place in the skyscraper and then I'll work on making it look better.